You join me on the morning of departure for the Green Bank Star Quest. And in this case, I wanted to just give you a quick overview of the new setup that I have in the backyard. I recently just added some pavers to the backyard to have a little bit more of a neater setup for uh, my observatory, if you want to say. And I leave this scope up for extended periods of time with the all weather cover on it. Everybody has to make their own decision on what they want to do for an observatory. And in my case, I just have uh, in the back here, I have, as you can see, a lot of hillside. And that hillside really covers me up to about zero degrees declination. So that's why I didn't want to invest in a building back here. And I just wanted to have a little bit neater set up for something in the backyard. And this really works for me with, um, we, we put in a new deck and these new pavers just sets up for a nice neat setup over a period of several nights. And right now this project is working on the Wolf Rayet 134 star. Got about, I think about 20 hours in on that right now. And that might be a part of the Green Bank music video at the end. We're not sure what our weather is going to be like over at Green Bank. We're going to definitely have a stormy period. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get any deep sky imaging. So we are ready to head to Green Bank and let's see how the week goes. This is Wednesday. We're going to be over there for um, till Sunday and the weather is looking a little dicey. So we're hoping to get a couple of usable nights over there. Green Bank. Of course, there's always a ton of activities over at Green Bank and great presentations. So uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Let's see what happens at the Green Bank Star Quest. My drive to Green Bank takes me across the entire width of the state of West Virginia on I-64 through some of the most beautiful country the state has. On arrival at StarQuest, I set up my 92mm Daystar Quark Hydrogen Alpha filter for some spectacular views of the sun. The 
Green Bank Observatory is very EV friendly with level 2 chargers on site. It's Saturday evening and I just wanted to give you a few thoughts on the Green Bank Star Quest. We haven't had the best weather. I came up Wednesday night. We had a two hour window last night. Beautiful conditions while it lasted. And tonight, I think this, this is typically stuff that will fade away with as the temperatures drop. Maybe if we can get a little bit of wind. It's pretty calm right now. But tonight, all the cloud forecasting looks pretty decent for tonight. And, but that's what makes the Green Bank Star Quest such an attractive destination event. Not only is it an unbelievably beautiful environment with science and nature combining, but the Star Quest itself has an agenda that would I don't know of another one in amateur astronomy. I know some events can have a select keynote or two, but literally every night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, four nights, keynote speakers who were primary investigators or investigators on a team that had of the most current research from gamma ray bursts and pulsar detections and OSIRIS-REx and Gravity waves, of course, is a very hot topic. So all of those presented by investigators on the teams that publish the data. And it's all current. It's all really unique and uh, science-altering findings of these teams. And it's really amazing. That's not to even mention the daytime lectures that we are having that still great quality those lectures are um, more concise, more uh, oriented toward the individual uh, feedback of special interest groups and things like that. But it's an amazing event. If you haven't been and you're anywhere in the East, I know we have people from, I've seen California tags. I know we have Illinois and Missouri and I believe uh, Alabama. I talked with some folks from Alabama. So it's really a nation, a nationally uh growing interest here for the Green Bank Star Quest. Let me show you what I'm doing here tonight. I'm kind of up, well, kind of the deer are everywhere. Um, but I, I'm doing a special rail track video time lapse. The Milky Way will be rising right here in the east, southeast, and it'll come across the scope this way. So I'm hoping to capture some movement. I'll show you that rail setup. And I'll put a link because it's nothing unique to me. This is a technique that I learned from Richard Taddy, Nightscape Images, right here on YouTube, based in Australia. And the equipment and gear that I'm using is Zeppon Tracker. So this is the Zeppon rail and three dimension uh, axis here. So we're coming along the rail. Try to give some motion across the disc, the dish. And I'm also going to raise and move along the rail. I'm also going to raise the camera up and capture the Milky Way as it rises higher and higher in the sky. Now, most of the scopes are down there near that barn. If you can see that barn, it's a little bit lower elevation, probably a 30, 40 foot drop here. And there's our deer friends. The deer are literally fed every night outside the cafe. And I've seen them eat sugar cones, ice cream cones, and a lot of vegetables and things from the cafe. So they're very, they're very tame, very trained. But it uh, looks like we have a good night. I. Um, of course, I didn't even mention the rocket building as part of another part of the activity that Green Bank offers, the Green Bank Star Quest. So. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and confirm they're not touching together, so we're not shorting. Yeah.
if you haven't been to this event, you really, and you're into astronomy and you're into science and breaking science and the discovery of the universe and maybe even some visual or photographic astronomy, as an amateur, I encourage you to get to this. This is a, this is a do not miss event. That's a wrap. We got some things to do to get ready for tonight here. So wish us luck. And uh, again, get to the Green Bank Star Quest. You and you and your family will not regret it. I didn't even mention Cass Railroad, Shea Locomotive. It's just over the valley there. Just a tremendous couple of day trip options or three day trip options. Snowshoe Mountain has uh, always something going on for heading into the weekends. And uh, of course, nature trails and the Greenbrier River Trail for biking and a lot to do if you're an out outdoor nature lover and you love the universe, studying the universe. So thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching and I will uh, catch you on the next video. Hopefully we have a music video here. <laughs>